Good morning, everyone. Are we live? We're live. Right. Um, you do need to use a microphone to be on the live stream. Not this? Either way. Okay. But if you're going to wander out there, then okay. grab that. Cool. Then I'll do that. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2017 Indie Web Summit. Glad you could all make it. I'm Tontek Chalik, one of your co-organizers, and this is Aaron Parecki. Uh, we have a couple of quick housekeeping announcements before we get started with our keynotes. Um, the first one is overview of the day, so we're going to give a little housekeeping, uh, and then a series of keynote speakers, short presentations. Um, we're going to have a little session of introductions and demos, which is essentially little lightning demos of your website, which we've done at many Indie Web Camps in the past. And we're going to encourage everyone that has a personal site to do. Uh, but, uh, and we're also going to uh, go over, yeah, that's, that's then lunch. Um, and then the afternoon sessions are bar camp style, unconference style, where we'll have a scheduled grid. And uh, how many people have been here to a bar camp or unconference before? Yeah. OK, so most people know how that works. Great. And that's today. And tomorrow is our hack day. So again, we'll start the day with a bunch of, uh, a handful of small uh, pre-scheduled, uh, like how to hack with different CMSs and stuff sessions, um, and then do a bar camp style again. So that's how, the, that's the overview of the day. Um, this community happens because there's a bunch of people that uh, put in a lot of time and effort as volunteers and have uh, organized indie web camps and homebrew website club meetups um, all around the world. Uh, some of which are actually on the video right now. So if I could have anyone here who's a leader of a homebrew website club of organized an indie web camp um, stand up um, and just say hi and introduce yourself, that would be awesome. So I'm going to start calling names if you all don't stand up. That includes you, David. <laughs> so you get to go first. Yeah. Hand off the, the talking uh, microphone. <laughs> Your name, your you just what that. city? <laughs> Maybe your your website if you like. Okay, my name is David Kansky. I'm from New York, and my website is also my name, david.kansky.com. And I, what do I do to break? Toss it to the next person. It's actually a microphone. But yeah, if we could get every leader to stand up, yeah, and stay standing. Yeah, that includes you, Greg. Stand up. Oh, let me. It, it is an actual mic, but it has to be I'm going to turned whisper. on and routed through our magic. Going to whisper system. secrets. Okay, it is a mic. Look at that. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Marty. Uh, I'm from Baltimore, and uh, I run Homebrew Website Club Baltimore. I also do the audio edition of the newsletter. So. Uh, if you listen to podcasts, you can listen to me drone quietly for eight minutes every week about the indie web. Who's next? Gregor? Hello, I'm Gregor. My website is gregorlove.com. I organize the Bellingham, Washington Homebrew Website Club. And we also had an indie web camp there for the first time uh, back in May. And formerly, I was in Chicago, and we had a Homebrew Website Club there as well. That's it. Who's next? I guess, nominally. Uh, Tantec is the organizer of San Francisco. You have hosted and organized in the past I have year. hosted and organized in the past year. So, all go. right, fair enough. Um, yeah, we sometimes do it. Um, so I'm Ben Wordmuller. Uh, website is word.io with an E. Um, we do sometimes host it. We kind of, we've been sharing it, I think, between Mozilla San Francisco and uh, Matt Adventures, which is where I work. Um, and yeah, excited to be here. This is an awesome room full of people. Who am I throwing this to next? I think Grant, right? I mean, no? You don't count yourself for, for London, no? OK. Ryan Anomaly has helped out with San Francisco as well. So I'm going to let him introduce himself. Sure. Hey, everyone. I'm Ryan Barrett. Uh, I'm based in San Francisco. This is my first Indie Web Summit. I'm excited to be here. Um, 
I have a toddler you may have seen last night, which is why I've done a lot less with Homebrew Website Club recently. But uh, yeah, thank you for having me. It's going to be great. And one more person I'd like to introduce is my coworker, uh, Victoria. So both, uh, I work at Mozilla and so is Victoria, and we're, pre we're pretty grateful for being able to host you all at Mozilla. Uh, and go ahead, Victoria. Hey, so yeah, I, I work here at the Portland office um, on Firefox DevTools, so if you have any feelings, frustrations, <laughs> questions about Firefox DevTools, definitely let me know, and I'd be excited to learn more. I'm, I'm like a UX designer on it, so I'm definitely really focused on the, those sorts of problems. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so during the course of during the course of today and tomorrow, if you have any sort of general questions about like I don't know what I'm doing or what's going on with Indie Web Summit or Indie Web Camp, you can reach out to any of the people that stood up and say, "Hey, help me," and they will help you because they have run these before in their past. Um, and certainly for anything that's like local to Portland or Mozilla questions, uh, you can ask me or uh, Victoria. Which takes us to the next piece of our housekeeping, very important, which is that we at IndieWeb, uh, the community, have a code of conduct. And we're pretty, uh, we, we take this very seriously. Um, we've developed this based on lots of other uh, folks' awesome codes of conduct. Uh, but, and it's linked from uh, the site that you signed up on, 2017.indieweb.org, also from our wiki page. Um, the indieweb.org slash 2017, um, where everything is. Hold on, that one. The page looks like this. And the summary, I will summarize it for you, is uh, treat each other respectfully. Uh, if, the, if you have a conflict, uh, try to see if you can resolve it peacefully. Um, if you make a mistake, apologize for it. Like, that's a good, that's a good way to uh, resolve things. Um, there are consequences, so if, if, uh, if there's, a, if there's a problem and it can't be resolved or you don't feel comfortable resolving it, uh, you can come to uh, myself or Aaron as organizers or uh, Victoria, um, and uh, we will make sure that it's resolved. So that's the summary of the, I, I encourage everyone to go ahead and read it through, it's not very long. In addition, uh, we have the Mozilla Community Participation Guidelines. Which uh, we are also, which are also um, active because we're hosting at Mozilla, and these have been pr pretty recently updated. So they're kind of awesome, and in many ways uh, have some improvements upon what we have in our code of conduct. So in particular, it's like treat everyone nicely and respectfully, regardless of any of you know the the following attributes: you know, background, family status, gender, gender identity or expression, marital status, sex, sexual orientation native language, age, ability, race or ethnicity, national origin, socioeconomic status, religion, geographic location, or any other dimension of diversity. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty good ground rule, but like here's another, here's an example, like, you know, don't be mean to someone just because they like tabs over spaces, okay? Uh, any other dimension of diversity. <laughs> So I'll let, uh, I'll let you go ahead and read through those as well. Um, again, expected behavior, be respectful. It's, it's, it's great to see more codes of conduct that that's the focus. Um, being professional and being inclusive. Uh, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of great things in here. I encourage you to read through it. Like I said, any questions, uh, you can, and even if you're not sure, oh, this, is this a code of conduct issue or not, you can come to us and ask. No problem at all. And more than happy to uh, walk through it. But. Certainly, if you feel uncomfortable for any reason, bring it up to, to one of us. We want to know because we want to keep this a comfortable, respectful space for everyone. Everyone's included. I think that covers that. Um, I think that takes us to, ah. The tools. So the tools that you will be using today, besides this nice real world space that we have to interact as human beings, is online. We have the IndieWeb uh, website and wiki. So IndieWeb.org slash 2017 has the outline of all the pages that have to do with what you're doing today and tomorrow at the IndieWeb Summit. Lots of great information there. Uh, the other place that you'll want to check out is the IRC slash Slack. Uh, which is starts with the indie web channel on IRC free node or the indie web is it indie web or indie web camp on Slack? 
Yeah, I have to look it up myself. In the webcamp. If you're a Slack user, you can go to chat.indieweb.org slash Slack and type in your email and get on the Slack as well. The nice thing is the Slack and the IRC are bridged, so if you're on, you can pick either one and use either one. You don't need to use both. Um, whichever one that's more comfortable to you and that works better for your tools. Uh, and these channels are also logged, so if you just go to chat.indieweb.org, you will see a real-time log of the messages going back and forth. There we go. And I think we also have people, uh, if you haven't noticed, oh, yeah. on the live stream. So um, we have a few people uh, who are sharing their cameras with us, and there's a few more who are not sharing their cameras to save bandwidth. Uh, there we go. They're all saying hi right now. Um, and uh, it's amazing that we are able to uh, include people who couldn't make it in person. So I'm really excited we were able to do that. Um, and they're also helping out uh, with taking notes on what we're saying and in the IRC channel um, to capture the discussions that take place. And um, they'll also be able to join the breakout rooms for the discussions later today. Um, and uh, we are also recording this to YouTube, so the videos of the sessions will be online um, after as well. Any questions about any of that? How many people are here? Are here? Uh, we sold out, which was 50. So I think, I mean, I would guess about 30 people in the room right now. I'm not sure. You could count just as probably as well as I could. But that's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Great. Yeah, if anyone has any difficulties with the tools, with the websites, or Slack or IRC, again, you can uh, ping me, Aaron, or any other people that you saw stand up and introduce themselves as leaders. We'll be more than happy to help you uh, get online and get connected and stay connected. So we do a lot of note-taking of what's going on so that we can capture it uh, for the future. Yeah. All right. And with that... I think that's the end of our housekeeping. If there's no housekeeping questions, we're going to go right into our first keynote.